everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is, wait for it, car schooling. That's right, I have not shared a car schooling video in months because, well, we weren't going anywhere, so we didn't need to be in the car and we didn't need to be schooling in it. But luckily enough, we have a trip coming up. In just a few weeks, we are going to be heading to the Great Smoky Mountains to enjoy the National Park and just enjoy some time in nature. And with a road trip comes car schooling. So I'm going to be sharing everything that we are packing in Emily's little car school organizer for the long trip up to the Great Smoky Mountains. We are really, really excited and we are really hoping to see the leaves changing colors. We have never been in the fall. Normally we go like Thanksgiving, so it's kind of in between the leaves changing colors and already dying. Um, and me and Emily are Florida girls through and through, and neither of us have ever seen like a real fall. So we are so excited to be heading up there and I'm even more excited to be putting together a car school basket for the first time in months, like I think almost six months, you guys, because this is one of my favorite things to do and it really was one of my favorite videos to film for you guys every month. So I'm not sure that we're back every month yet because well, we're still not going a whole lot of places. Um, Kevin is normally the one doing the bulk of our running around and me and Emily are staying safely home. So we will see, hopefully we are moving back towards car schooling being a more regular thing. But for now, let me show you all of the goodies. Okay, so this is the car organizer that we have used for years now. We absolutely love it. It's got pockets in the front, pockets in the sides, inside. Um, there's like a front space and a back space. It's hands down our favorite one. Um, there's also loops back here to put a seatbelt through it so that it stays secure. So this is what we'll be using on our trip. This is cards from the game Camp. I actually bought the um, expansion pack so that it came with a hundred extra cards that have like the questions on them in the different ages. And so I put those in a little thing for her with the decoder because she loves asking us trivia from the back seat. So that way she can do that with these cards as we're driving. I also got her this story dice. It came from the Target dollar spot. Um, so it's just got different like camping stories so she can roll them and then tell us stories while we're driving. And then last year I had Missy from Playful Days Do make her one of these and she requested one again. I changed it to a different container just so that when the lid comes off um, she can put the lid in her lap and do the Play-Doh kit actually in her lap. But it's got all these um, brown play-doh and then all these little forest animals um, and little things like little trees some grass there's like some wooden pieces in here so she can have like a little sensory play-doh kit on the go I also always keep this in the car for her um, it has her erasable Crayola pencils this is her water paintbrush and then some pencils and pens so she has that. And because we were going to national parks, I threw in these little brochures that have the night sky, animal tracks, mushrooms, and bugs and slugs so that she could, you know, look at them if she wanted to on the way or when we stopped at different spots. I love single player logic games for in the car. And so this is smart games jump in. I thought it kind of had a forest animal type theme. You're trying to get the little rabbits away from the fox. And it's got all the different levels for expert, junior, starter. So that way she could have something fun to play in the car. Has the answers in the back too. And then I don't know if you guys saw it, but I recently saw Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box. Her stem bins, which you guys know I love, have a smaller like at home kit for the students. And I loved it. So I recreated something similar for Emily for the car. So she wasn't stuck with just one type of thing. So we have like the linking cubes, brain flakes, links. And so she has just a little stem box so she can create on the go. 
We had these National Park Adventure Funny Fill-Ins in our morning basket when we did our National Park morning basket, but there was still um, over half the book left at the end of the month, so I thought it would be fun for her to be able to, you know, maybe ask us and finish it out on the drive. Emily grabbed a few different books to add in for her to be able to read on the drive. This is a chapter book, um, Winter According to Humphrey, and then these are kind of like readers from The Good and the Beautiful that she can read on the drive as well. They just have larger font in case her eyes are bothering her. So we have those. And then from Usborne, we have the little sticker dolly dressing Woodland Fairies. Emily loves these little dolly dressing um, it has all the stickers in the back that rip out, and you can dress the little, little girls and boys. So this is, like I said, Woodland Fairy, so she'll get to dress them, decorate the pages. And it's reusable, and there's also this page right here where you can put the stickers while you're working on them. So they can, you know, stick them and re-stick them, so it's really nice. Also from Usborne, we have the Woodland Magic Painting Book. And then, like I said, I have that... Um, paintbrush that has water in it already in the car so she just uses that to paint the pictures while we drive. We have the Usborne Write In Nature Activity Book. The activities in here are so um, diverse. There are so many different things, different seasons, different things to do. So I know that this will keep her very busy and learning at the same time. From Dover, we have the Forest Animal Coloring Book. My favorite thing about these coloring books is that they have information at the bottom of the pages so that you can color and learn at the same time about whatever it is you're coloring. And that there's also examples in the front and the back of what, you know, the specific animals would actually look like. So it's tons of learning for kids. And then from Zoo Books, we have this Woodland Animals Anatomy. I bought an anatomy kit from them for a while back. I had like rainforest, woodland animals, dinosaurs, ocean animals, and I thought this would be really cool to throw in there for her to be able to see some of the anatomy of some of the animals that we might be seeing while we were up that way. And again, from Usborne, I have the Forest Mazes book. She really likes these mazes. They're beautiful, they're colorful, they're fun, and it's really big too. So it kind of takes up your whole lap. And then I have her paint clipboard. We love this clipboard. We've had it for as long as we've had the organizer, so at least over a year. Um, it stores stuff inside it, but it's not too big, so it fits in her lap nicely. And then I went ahead and had um, the Smoky Mountains send me their Junior Ranger book. So I have the Junior Ranger book from the Smoky Mountains for her to do or look at um, if she wants to. I have some blank paper in here for her. And then we just decided at the last minute that we might stop at Congaree, Congaree National Park as well. And their um, Junior Ranger book is printable. So I went ahead and printed that so that we would have that too. So she has all of that in here ready for her. And then the very last thing I have in here is this little guy. I thought Emily might like a little fuzzy friend for the ride. So he will be accompanying her. Because he's just so cute. 